Hi everyone. I hope you guys watched the previous video and you have tried number one to number four. Question number one to number four of this temp-2 exercise. So please make sure that you are comfortable uh, with number one to number four and you understand the concept behind it. Okay, understand the concept of funding limit. There is a difference when we are funding limit um, from we are funding evaluating the function when x is equal to a certain value. Alright, so this is conceptually they are quite different. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a couple examples that will cover number five to number eight. So problem type one. So let's get started. Alright, so here is one example. They want us to find the find a limit when x is approaching negative two. And my function is a rational rational function. I have two x squared plus five over over two x minus two. Okay, so let's see how we do this. Now, what we can do is you can put this on Desmos, and I encourage you to open up Desmos and put the equation in um, to see what the graph look like. So here I have entered the equations in there. And we are looking at the va the uh, the x value that we're interested in is when um, we're trying to push x approaching negative two. So when talking about limit, we have to go from the left and from the right. Okay. What? Okay. Let's see what happens. Here. All right. So negative two is here. You might have to m play around with the zoom a little bit. Okay. So negative two is here. If I'm coming from the left, as I get close to negative two, my y seems to go close to negative one point six something, right? Um, when x is negative two, it gets to negative two point one six seven, but I don't think that is exactly negative two point one six seven. It is more like rounded up. So if I come from the left, <coughs> my limit is my x approaches negative 2, my y gets close to this negative 2.167 for now. If I approach from the right, same thing, I get close to this negative 2.167. Alright, now let's see, let's see exactly, but I don't think this negative 2.167, my y coordinate there, I don't think that is the actual value, I think that's actually rounded up. So, um, Let's find out. So we have we actually have two tasks over here. The first one is to verify if that that negative two point one six seven is that the actual value or is that rounded up. Um, number two, is it possible for me to, for us to do this without <coughs> looking at the graph? Now, <coughs> in the previous video, you guys have seen how I kind of just substitute the x values. Um, that we are trying to approach to inside my equations. And that is how we're gonna do it. Alright, so let's let's just do that. So two negative two x squared. This is two times negative two squared plus five. Over two times negative two minus two. And if you put that in your calculator, you'll get um negative thirteen over 6 which is if you convert that to decimals you'll get negative 2.1 and uh, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 with the repeating 6 okay so on decimals they round it up to they round it up to negative 2.167 so uh, I was right uh, it was rounded up right? it is in <coughs> so a better answer in fact the best answer would be in terms of a fraction. All right, so um, from Desmos, from the graph, we can see <coughs> we can see that when x gets close to negative two, um, from the left, I'm approaching this negative thirteen over six. Right, and from the right, I am also approaching my y value as my x gets close to negative two. Uh, my y value approaches this negative thirteen over six. All right, so let's look at another, let's look at another one. 
Um, one thing that you need to keep in mind is saying saying this, saying that limit x approaching negative two, and then we have this chunk on the top, chunk at the bottom. This is not the same, not necessarily the same as saying um, f of, I say f of x is equal to 2x plus 5, 2x squared plus 5 over 2x minus 2. So that, that's it, that is my, this part <coughs> is my function, right? And and what, what I'm trying to say here is, by saying my limit approaches negative 2, this is not necessarily equal to f of negative 2. Even though it seems like what we're doing, but this is kind of a quick way to evaluate uh, the value. Okay, so <coughs> technically, we should be looking at the graph and say, all right, if I'm coming from the left, approaching negative 2 from the left, uh, my y value gets close to what? If I'm approaching x value from the right, if I'm approaching x uh, to negative 2 from the right, my y is approaching um, <coughs> what value? All right, but um, normally when we're trying to evaluate the, the limit, we can sort of substitute the x in there and give us the value uh, of the limit. Okay. Um, I'll show you guys another example. <coughs> okay, so let's try this one. Uh, well, why, don't you, why don't you guys put this equation, this square root equation, put that, put that in decimals and see what you get. And figure out what is the limit when your x approaches 3. Pause the video now, please. Alright, so I hope you guys have done what I, what I, what I asked you guys to do. So here I've put the equation, make sure the equations are correct. Square root 2x cubed x squared minus 37. 2x cubed x squared minus 37. So the graph that you should have should look like this. Now the x value that we are interested in is when x approaching 3. So let's look at our 3. Our 3 is... <coughs> so what, we're, what I'm doing here is I'm approaching 3. And from the left, so this is two. Uh, this is limit three minus because this is a little bit less than three, right? A little bit less than three. So as I get closer to three, let me zoom in even more. If I get close to three from the left, my y value seems to be five point five point something. I'm not so I'm not exactly sure, but that we'll find out later. So right now this is kind of the, as close as I can get. Um, two point nine when my x is two point nine nine eight and my y value is five point oh eight seven. Right. So that's for now. I don't know exactly why it is, but what I do know for sure is coming from both sides, um, they do converge to the same value. It's going to be a little bit more than five. Right. Now, it seems to be converging at that point. The point that I have right now, 3, 5.099. But again, this 5.099, that could be rounded up. So let's try to use our algebra scales and find the exact value. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply substitute the x in there. So you should show this for working. So 2, this is 3. Cube. Sorry about the handwriting. This is 3 squared minus 37. And put that in your calculator. You should get, uh, you should get, uh, you should get equal to, this is equal to square root of 26. So square root of 26 is approximately 5.0. 2 approximately okay so on decimals they round it up to kind of three 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 decimal places all right so um 
that's my limit. My limit is right there. So, but please keep in mind that when we are finding a limit, we're talking about approaching to, converging to, getting close to a value. Whereas, even though the way that we are trying to find the, that what that value is, we're simply substituting the x in there. But conceptually, there is a difference. Alright, hope you guys find this video helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.